Welcome back to another Row City Reptiles video. I'm Joey, and in today's video, as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys some new animals that we have here on the farm. They are extremely cute, and I cannot wait to introduce them to you. And before we get into that, we're going to head outside, and I'm going to show you guys the new tortoise enclosures. They are completely redone. They're bigger, they're better, and the tortoises are loving them. I can't wait to show you guys everything we have in this video today. Once it's all over, I'll see you right back here. I hope you're smiling, and let's get started. have all these pieces of bark yeah. laying around yeah i do I, I just this is all in a pile my collection <laughs> you know when i'm driving around and i stop and get that thing it's coming in handy right now we do do that on the way back from florida <laughs> see i'm gonna put both ferns right around this area mm -hmm. and the way i garden is i usually just plant a bunch of stuff and then if it dies it dies and if it doesn't, I buy more of that. <laughs> and I have good luck with all, all of these grasses are super hardy. Um, they're the things that like businesses use or the city uses to plant like in the median. <laughs> so that's, that's when I'm driving, I see things planted like at businesses or in the median. I know those things must be easy to keep alive, right? Yeah. It's mulch time. Let's see it. The best part. Hey, so, I put the mulch down for a few reasons. One, it gives the tortoises something to burrow under, use inside the hides, things like that. Also, these enclosures are new. You can see we do have some grass sprouting up. The tortoises are gonna get, come in here and eat all of that. The mulch will give the grass a little bit more time to kind of get established, get more of a root system going so they can tolerate the abuse that the tortoises are about to do to it. Yeah, you want to spread out that mulch? Yeah, we can put some there. Can you give me the whole bag? Yep. <laughs> oh, wow, we got a lot of food in there. We're ready. So, we got their enclosure planted up. I can't wait to see this stuff grow in. Um, you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know, you've seen these guys, the Burmese Browns, they've gotten much larger. And now we have a large enclosure for them. Last year, we kept them in a, I think it's about eight by eight. Now they have a 16, 16 by eight. And this will last them probably a couple more years before we expand again. Food on the table. On this table. Food on the table. Now some uh, chairs. Got some chairs. I'm gonna put one down. There we go. Fella. Fella. Here you go, fellas. They're so cool. I'm gonna put this one right inside. These guys love water. They love being outside. They can tolerate cool temperatures. They like to climb. They are seriously an amazing, very personable tortoise. 
And let's see. Let's see what they think. Yeah, go go put them somewhere. And Michelle fed them. Here, I'm actually going to spread some of this food around. That's a good part of being outside. You just woo, make it rain. And in today's video, like I promised, we are gonna be checking out some new additions here on the farm. Okay, so now we are out in the front field. This is where we do some of the gardening and where we plan on putting some of the, you know, different animals that we get and as we expand. But yes, yeah, so you guys don't get to come out here very often. So, but I'm about to show you guys, you guys might be able to hear them, you might be able to see them. They're right behind me. Um, and I've got some food. We're about to get in there and give them a treat. This is Esteban, <laughs> and I know he's beautiful, right? <laughs> and they are Cooney Cooney pigs, and they love apples. Every time they eat, they make you wonder if they're just like starving. <laughs> but I've learned they're not. <laughs> And this is Carlota. She ran off with the bell pepper. Oh yeah, how's that girl? Is that good? What's up, buddy? <laughs> you want some too? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. So every day, we, I come out here, I turn on the hose, I get this area right here kind of muddy, and on today's a little bit cooler, but on hot days they love it, and in the summer I know they're gonna, this will be their thing. But um, even on these cooler days when it's like 65 degrees out, they love the water. As you can see, Esteban, when he gets his food, he likes to just kind of stay put, and Carlota just runs over, grabs a piece, <laughs> and takes it. Uh, away from from him so for their feeding we do give them fruits and vegetables like you just saw and then they also get inside of here we've got um missouri uh i almost said tortoise chow <laughs> missouri uh it's like a pig food that made by missouri and they get a, two cups each a day i give them a cup in the morning each and then a cup at night on top of the fruits and vegetables here pigs Pig, 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 pig. He was coming to get the food and then heard that squash crunch. Look at her. <laughs> she took it. Here we go, let's see. You just rub their belly and they literally oh look at that <laughs> he didn't even want to roll over he just can't help it and for their setup i'll show you kind of how we have this their pin set up so 
you can see we have this netting that's actually electric netting um, it's made by premier fencing and it's fencing made for pigs and it is run completely off of this solar panel right here so we got this solar panel it's just you know getting its power from the sun there's a battery inside of here and then that's connected to the fence and you can see the fence is this whole entire area now we're gonna step in here and I'll show you how we have their house set up it's very simple we I built this in one day with my nephew easy I just use fence post and I just put fence post all the way around it and then took a saw and one swipe just walked around and <laughs> cut them all down to size super easy inexpensive and it works really really well and then I just attach one of these dog kennel panels to the front just for now as they're younger and then this is just kind of the inside of their house it's got some hay and stuff down here is bedding and they come in here and sleep in the heat of the day or at night and you know it's pretty cozy in here it's not bad and then for water we have this big jug full and then these little nipples on here that they come and suck on and get all the water they need but what we're fixing to do pretty soon here is actually give them access to the entire pasture out here and we're going to take their fence and i'm putting in a garden over here i'll show you An animal garden um, so what we're going to do right here we've got two beds with strawberries and then we're going to do a garden right here so we're going to take their fence and put it around this area to protect the garden from the pigs because <laughs> i'm sure they will you guys just saw what they did to that squash they destroyed it so so yeah so use their fence in this area and this whole front field is fenced in i was just waiting for them to get a little bit bigger um, i'm still going to give it a little bit more time but that's what we'll do we'll just take this fence out and they will have access to everything out here tons of grass acorns we have peach trees they they love it all and they're they're just gonna they're, they're like they're like tortoises kind of <laughs> like they're very similar they remind me of tortoises a lot um they're just pig versions so so yeah so that is the plan with the pigs is eventually take this fence down probably here in the next couple weeks and move it to the garden i think they'll really like that i mean they love this space and they haven't they can't even put a dent in the grass here and they literally eat for like 10 hours a day and this grass is growing faster than they're eating it at this time of the year so and then we've got some juicy grass in this area it is i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's it's at least three foot tall or taller we'll kind of have it sectioned off and they're gonna love going in there so yeah let me know what you guys think about these pigs. Thank you guys for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. I hope you enjoyed meeting the two new additions, Esteban and Carlota. They are so adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're definitely gonna be adding them, you know, having them be a part of some of the videos. If you're new here and you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next Rose City Reptiles video. Bye.